actually wait to even get in the woods. In the car park, I mean seriously. Okay, girls, off you go. Go, go, go. Off you go. Hey, are you happy? Are you happy? Okay, so this path is actually like a little obstacle course for people to come and enjoy and run. And Charlotte is going to actually just give you a demonstration of what this one's for. It's forbidden for people less than 14 years old. That doesn't include you, no. so come on, get on. Well, it doesn't look too challenging, it has to be said. I think I'm going to be alright on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't follow me up, it's not less than 14. There you go, king of the castle, queen of the castle. Yeah, I'm not so keen on heights. Now you've got to get down and you've got to swing on these things, so you've got to come off this end. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Here comes the first broken leg of our journey. Come on, you're quite energetic. No, except I'm not. And you're light. I'm just going to launch myself and then end up doing the back of my head. She's going to stack it. Do you want some help, baby? I'm not known for my athletic Would you like powers. some help? <laughs> you want some help? Yes, please. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, go oh, for it, neck. <laughs> Lily. Come on, you can do it. Come on. She's going to get booty, isn't she? Huh? She's going to get a booty. Woohoo! I've my route and it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, I know, but you can't go and sit up on the Oh, look, 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 there's a kingfisher. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Bright Just blue. Just the flash of blue, yeah? yeah? I was looking, thinking, was that a blue bird? And there's a kingfisher. It has to be. I've never you, seen you, one. You know when you've seen a kingfisher. Right, it was bright electric it, blue. Oh, you're so lucky. It's so rare to see them. I know. You know that. I've only seen about three in my life. I've never seen one. We've got some biscuits. The biscuits are not for you, Lily. I like little moon ones, little pleasant moons. They're annoyed. What? Oh, for fuck's sake, she's made it. Jesus Christ, Lily. She jumped. But she's weaving on the edge. She could so easily have gone straight over because it's water. <laughs> Look, straight the other side's water. So, Coco's um, not so good at doing the jumping, though. She doesn't. She has little stumpy legs. Whoa! Oh, for fuck's sake. That <laughs> was the camera. What was that about? <laughs> Are you playing up to the camera? That's not normal behaviour for you, Coats. She's 13 years old. She's not meant to be able to do that. This is the beautiful thing about these two dogs though, is they like to be with us. They like to be on our laps and part of what we do. So yeah, if you've got dogs, it's one of the, uh, the things about van life is that you don't have a garden for your dogs. And although some dogs, you know, you can just let off and they're absolutely fine. They're really obedient. They come back exactly when you ask them to. The, these don't. Yorkshire Terriers, they just, well, these ones, all three of them, Al2 and Gigi, are terrors they just don't come back so you've got to be really careful when you let them off we can't just let them off on the side of near, near roads or something like that because they just they just run it is nice to let them off the lead and to find the right environment i.e a wooded area with not that many people around no traffic and they can run free and it kind of makes you feel a bit guilty because they're on the lead all the time and 
kind of have to go where you want them to go rather than just exploring a little bit which is what dogs should be able to do so yeah we love it when we can find an area that's safe for them to do that it's also nice for us as well because we get to go out and you know all different parks different places to take them for a walk and the good thing about it is that they're always in different places always different parks just not the same park all the time with the same dogs and the same smells so it's always new adventures for them they point blank refuse to go out when it's raining you have to boot them out to go and do a wee yep yeah, size 10 boot in the backside. But they are very good dogs. They are great van life dogs as well because they, they're they lap small. dogs. They're small. Yeah, they're, they're really good companions to have. Easy to look after. And they're very affectionate as well. We're going to head back now and because uh, I've got some work to do. There's a bit of an upgrade going on in the van because I have an electric water heater. I did have. I've taken it out now. But it was a really bad decision to put it in in the first place. You switch it on to have a shower, to heat up the hot water. Used about 18% of the battery bank. So it was a mistake on reflection. Now you've bought something to yeah, stop that. Yeah, I bought something pretty interesting. It's not a sponsor. It's something I bought because I wanted it since I built the van. But it's nearly always been out of stock. And um, I looked uh, about two months ago and it was in stock. So... I decided to buy it um, so I'm gonna do that and um, I'll show you I'll show you what it is it's really pretty clever um, and it uses the Chinese diesel heater to heat up the hot water so yeah we're gonna head back now and um, hopefully you'll see a bit of that so I'll see you in a bit okay so first things first is I want the actual tank for the hot water to go in this cupboard this is currently being used for lots of food and pans and right at the back of this it goes around the back um, is stuff that never really sees the light of day so and then get the actual heater which is this thing here get that out and actually use this instead of a junk cupboard actually use it um, to store food and other bits and bobs that we might need to do. So in other words, changing that cupboard for that cupboard. Great, great. Always start with the live wire first. I'm gonna take stuff out. With all the love in the world, I'm never going to get this done today. It's too late in the day. And what I'm going to do is just block off the end of the, my cold feed. So when I turn my pump on, I don't flood the van. Um, that, that would not be cool. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Now what I've got to do is take that piece of wood out so I can cut this section off the back of it. That's not too clever. <coughs> okay, so this is the diverter. As you can see, either to the exchanger or into the van. And this is the heat exchanger. It's a pretty cool bit of kit. Takes the heat out of the hot air and puts it into the water. Okay, so I've fitted all the, I don't know what they're called, exits from the tank. It's an 18 litre tank. I'm now actually insulating it because it's hot water. If I'm gonna have all this hot water, then I want to keep the hot water in there. 
at that temperature. So I'm just putting 25 mil insulation around it, built a little box. So yeah, I'm just putting that together. What I'm doing is putting the controller thingy, a jiggy piece of plastic in that holds the controller. So this is going tucked away behind in a little cupboard, um, which is a bit stupid really, because it's very difficult to access and um, to actually drill it out, but yeah, shit happens. Okay, so this is what you have to do when you haven't got a jigsaw, which I haven't got. The only tools I've got is a drill. Okay, so I've drilled the small holes to try and get as straightest line as I possibly can, and then I've gone to a bigger size drill bit, which I have, to try and get as much wood out as I can, so I can just pop that little panel out. And then I've got this other thing, which is a step drill. I'm gonna try and sand it down with that to try and get a straight edge. It might work, then again it might not. So um, we'll soon find out. Hey, that worked a, a real treat. That's actually come out a lot better than I thought actually. So time to stick this in now. minutes so it's looking pretty good I'm not necessarily going to get the same browning you would get in a conventional oven but you know it's still going to taste good I've no doubt Thank you very much. So this is the usual place that I actually have my food because I actually quite enjoy it up here. Not only that, but my phone fits in there just beautifully. So I can watch TV and have a dinner at the same time. Sitting here watching Arsenal v Tottenham or Tottenham v Arsenal and uh, Arsenal are 2 0 up. And um, I'm just going to have to give this a few minutes because it's hotter than the sun right now. But it tastes lovely. Oh, it's delicious. I love it when um, you make too much because it can always come in for seconds. Thank you very much. Well, the dinner might have been really nice. Well, the dinner was really nice, yeah, but lush. the washing up was a pig. I don't know that I'm going to cook that again in here, much to his disappointment. And now it will happen again. It's too good to not do it. Again. Yeah, and you stand and do the washing up. Yeah, but we've got the new heater coming. So yeah. Hopefully, once that's sorted out, then it will make washing up a lot easier. Generally, I don't have a problem. It's just that dish. Everything was covered in gloopy, flowery white. Oh, boohoo. Sauce. Boohoo you if you had to stand there and do that. For five items, it took half an hour. There's a tab literally just up the road here. It's only like five minute walk away. So yeah, we're just gonna go and fill up with water and take the dogs for a walk. Done the laundry today as well. So you can see everything's hanging up. So it's a small Ooh. laundry. It had nothing to do with that, by the way. Still too bag worth, but. Yeah, but you do all right. We're trundling along with your two bags. She just call you Charlotte two bags now, shouldn't we? Yeah. Or saddlebags.
nice special effects. Let's try and clean this up. Well, that hasn't that's really just, helped. That's just made it worse. My hands are very, very, very cold because, like an idiot, I didn't take my gloves with me. I don't know how interesting this is going to be if you can't really see us. So let's just see. Let's just. Oh. Oh. It was that. Oh, simple. hello. There you go. That's better. Ooh. Oh. That's better. There you go. You can see us. I know. Can we put the steam back? Fun times doing van life sometimes you have to go out and get water and it's not plumbed in which really does suck to be honest with you but hey oh we choose we have water we choose to live this lifestyle and it's really not that and big a deal and we can be deal. punished for it and we can be punished for it anyway time for you to do the washing up and time for you to what's the end of that sentence there could be many different endings mean <laughs> and a couple of kind ones but i will choose a nice ending which will be you can go and continue editing our video kind of makes sense that one so. rather than sitting there eating chocolate bars and drinking tea that i make you she's a lovely wife she really is she's a cracker she's definitely a keeper if you come across one like this just you know take care of it guys you know run <coughs> run <laughs> Yeah, it's probably not far from the truth, actually, so...